everyone my name is Elena welcome uh, back to my channel for those of you who are subscribed and welcome to those of you who are new today I'm gonna show you and I'm already holding my measuring tape <laughs> today I'm gonna show you how to crochet this poncho this is the front and this is the back this is the classic way to wear this poncho and I have some tassels here also if you like to tweak a little bit you can wear this poncho this way where you have the smaller rectangle and the front and have the tassels on the sides I think that will look pretty nice too before I go into details um, I don't have anyone to give a shout out to today because none of you guessed uh, what we're gonna make when I posted the sneak peek but it's okay I hope you are gonna enjoy this video anyway very often I get asked but uh, if I wear size too extra large how many chains am I supposed to chain I will give you some steps on how to take the measurements for this poncho it doesn't matter what size you wear just plug in your numbers instead of my numbers the actual crocheting design of uh, the poncho is very easy it's a repeat of only two rows so you're welcome um, and that's gonna take you only a couple of minutes to uh, remember to memorize and just you know start and keep going the more important part is taking the measurements one thing to remember is that your head will have to go uh, through that opening so make it wide enough for your head uh, how I did I took the measuring tape placed it where I would want my neckline to start I like my neckline to be very close to the actual neck that's why I placed the measuring tape there then I uh, wanted to see how wide I want my neckline to be and for example it's seven inches so that's for me if you are bustier or simply you just prefer a wider opening you would place the measuring tape right here and the tip where you would all usually have the shoulder seam so if you are wearing a t-shirt put it on the shoulder seam of the t-shirt and then measure the opening let's say 10 inches or 11 inches totally up to you how wide you want it one thing to remember though is the yarn stretches so uh, it might be even wider after you finish it so you got that measuring but it's only the front now we have to take care of the back multiply that number by two measuring number two you would have to decide how uh, wide you want your poncho to be uh, it might be a summer poncho and you want it only until um, the elbow three quarters or the full length again you would put the measuring tape where you measured your neck from if it was closer to the neck place it there if it was mid shoulder place it there and measure the length of how um, wide you want your poncho to be and that's it for the measurements you have your two numbers I would suggest or advise you to start with the small rectangle so you have your neck measurement and you have your length measurement when you are gonna be chaining the beginning chain it should correspond to the length of your arm measurement okay and you are gonna make the project you are gonna repeat the rows for as long as your neck measurement is and once you finish your small rectangle you are gonna make the large rectangle based on this one and once you're done with your both rectangles you're gonna sew them together and uh, you're gonna add a nicer neckline and the tassels and I'll link you down in the description box to a video where I show you how I make my tassels and these are all the steps for the poncho yes I, I took my time explaining it but um, once you start working on it you'll see it's not that much of a job all right if you are ready give this video a thumbs up grab your yarn crochet hook let's get to work When I started making this poncho, I really hoped that I'm gonna use up the yarn that I have. So I had a total of four skeins like this. I used only one and I didn't even finish the one. This is what's left from that 
it's it was just like this so <laughs> those are some huge skeins of yarn i got the yarn at AC More, this uh, Studio Classic by Nicole, available on that AC More, but you can buy any yarn you like. Here are the specifications of the yarn. Acrylic, so it has 680 meters or 744 yards, 400 grams, 14 ounces, number 4 medium. Uh, it requires a 5.5 millimeter hook, but I used my um, K10.5 or 6.5 half millimeter hook um, i wanted a little more draping so this one worked perfectly if you have ac more and you want exactly this color that is the color name that is the lot number and i do love the yarns made in turkey just just saying <laughs> to create this pattern we will need to chain multiples of six so any number that is divisible by six wide enough to fit your size. Here I have 18 stitches. After you've done your multiples of six, you're gonna chain three more at the end. Once that is done, you will put a double crochet into the fourth chain from the beginning. One, two, three, into the fourth, put a double crochet. Chain 2, skip 1, and put a double crochet into the next. Chain 2, skip 1. Into the next 3 stitches we will work 3 double crochets together. So yarn over, skip 1 right here, insert into the next pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through only two loops, then yarn over, insert the hook into the next chain, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through only two loops, yarn over, insert the hook into the next chain, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through only two loops. Now you have three unfinished double crochets, yarn over, pull through all four loops and there's your group of three double crochets together. Now we will start repeating. Chain two, skip one, one double crochet, chain two, skip one, three double crochets together, one, two and into the third three yarn over pull through all four loops chain two skip one double crochet into the next and this is how you are going to be going till the end of the row chain two skip one double crochet Chain 2, skip 1, 3 double crochets together. Again, chain 2, skip 1, double crochet. Chain 2, skip 1, 3 double crochets together. All the way, almost till the end. When you reach the end, you will chain 2, skip 1, and in the remaining 2, you will put 2 double crochets together. Yarn over insert the hook, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, and work into the last chain, and unfinished double crochet. There's what we have, our first row. Turn the work, chain one, single crochet into the very first stitch. Chain 2, single crochet on top of the double crochet. Chain 2, single crochet on top of the group of 3 double crochets together. Then there is the repeat. <coughs> Chain 2, single crochet on top of the double crochet. 
chain two, single crochet on top of the group, chain two, single crochet on top of the double crochet, chain two, you will end the row with a single crochet into the um, stitch of the two double crochets together. That is the wrong side of the project. And now once you've turned the work, the repeat of the actual rows starts. So chain two, that counts as a unfinished double crochet, yarn over, put an unfinished double crochet into the chain two space, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two. Now you have two unfinished double crochets, yarn over, pull through two stitches, and we made our first two um, double crochets together. Chain two, repeat the same, so a double crochet on top of the single crochet, chain two. Now we need to make three double crochets together. So yarn over, insert the hook into the chain two space to your right, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two. The middle unfinished double crochet is gonna go into the single crochet. So yarn over, insert the hook into the single crochet, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, the third double crochet is gonna go into the next chain two space. Pull through two. Yarn over, pull through all loops on the hook. And our three double crochets together formed on top of these ones. So as you can see, the first one went into the chain one space, the second one into the single crochet, the third one into the next chain two space. Now we will be repeating the pattern, chain two, double crochet on top of the single crochet, chain two again, and three double crochets together. So, into the chain two space, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two. The next one goes into the single crochet and only pull through two loops. And the third one goes into the next chain two space, pull through only two loops. There is what we have. Turn over, pull through all loops on the hook. And that's what we have. Chain two again, single, uh, double crochet on top of the single crochet. And keep alternating the same steps all the way till the end of the row. Once you reach the end of the row, you will chain two. Now we need two double crochets together. So the first one is going to go into the chain two space, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two. And the second one is going to go into our single crochet from the beginning, pull up a loop, pull through two, and yarn over, pull through all three loops on the hook. There is our two double crochets together. That is row number three or a repeat of row number one. Now we will repeat row number two. So turn the work, chain one, single crochet into the first stitch, chain two, single crochet on top of the double crochet, chain two, single crochet on top of the three double crochets together, chain two, double cro uh, single crochet on top of the double crochet, again chain two, single crochet on top of the group, chain two, single crochet on top of the single crochet. This is pretty self-explanatory. And here the last one is gonna go on top of the two double crochets together. Turn the work. Row number five will correspond to row number one and three. Chain two counts as the first unfinished treble. The next one is gonna go into the chain two space, pull up a loop, 
yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two chain two a double crochet on top of the single crochet so here you already see the trend that we have one straight line double crochet single crochet double crochet single crochet chain two now we have to put three double crochets together yarn over go into the space pull up a loop yarn over pull through two yarn over into the single crochet pull up a loop yarn over pull through only two yarn over into the next chain two space pull up a loop yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through all four loops and there is our three double crochet together and you can clearly see where they went into then chain two again double crochet on top of the single crochet chain two and three double crochets together into the space one unfinished into the single crochet the second unfinished into the next space the third unfinished yarn over pull through all three chain two again one double crochet on top of the single crochet and to finish the row chain two one double crochet goes into the chain one space the second one into the single crochet from the beginning and pull through all the loops and that is all you have to do i think it's pretty easy and pretty self-explanatory there is the wrong side there is our right side so all you have to do is make it as wide and as long as you need this part is going to be your neckline and this part is the length from the neck to the arm. So when you fold it in half like this, here is your front of the neck and this is gonna go behind the neck and this is the arm length. So once you've done the small rectangle, you are gonna make the large one and it's folded in half here. And this is how you are gonna place it kind of diagonally fold it in half and um, I didn't cut the yarn here if I need to add some more length this is how it's gonna be and this is gonna be aligned the small one is gonna be aligned right here perfectly go up and this is gonna be my neckline. So make sure this opening is wide enough for your head to go through, and then you would sew these parts. I would suggest to start from the bottom, go up, and same thing for the back side right here. So after I made the small piece, I folded it like this, and then I started crocheting the large piece. So um, I made it you know long enough to correspond to the small piece plus the opening for the neckline so that was the front half and then I added exactly the same length uh, for the back half and this is the total rectangle and now once you have the poncho constructed um, just go ahead and sew these together um, pin them however you want when I sew, I like to take a loop from one part, a loop from this part, and just sew it in a regular fashion. I turned it this way so it's easier to um, work and to see it. Um, so these are our half double crochets together and the single crochet. Uh, just join somewhere, move one of the double crochets and join in it. And I will put a row of double crochets around. So each half double crochet gets two double crochets and each single crochet gets one double crochet. And I'm 
moving next and yeah this is what I'm gonna do all the way around just repeat the same steps and I'll meet you somewhere here all right friends I don't know what the grass people are doing here on Sunday but um, Anyway, there is going to be some background noise and I apologize for that, but I cannot keep uh, filming at night because the video's <laughs> quality is very poor. Anyway, um, so I went a full circle around. I just kept putting double crochets where they were supposed to go. So here I put two double crochets, one double crochet, and I'll just um, slip stitch into the first, uh, into the third chain from the beginning. Like so. And yeah, I do have some gaps in front on in the back, but it has gaps everywhere, so this is not a big deal. Now I will start working the post stitches. So um, chain three counts as the first double crochet. Actually, let's make um, chain two count as a double crochet. Then I will work a front post double crochet. Um, if you don't know, you just yarn over. Uh, go around the double crochet, um, grab the yarn, pull up a loop, and finish like a regular double crochet. The next one, yarn over, go from behind it, push it away from you, grab the yarn, draw it around, and finish like a double crochet. Then the next one, alternating, go from behind it. Then the next one, from the front. And these are our front post and back post double crochets. And that is what I'm going to do uh, all the way around. Working one front post, one back post double crochet to create that finished line on the neck and I think only one row of this will be enough I will try it on and see but um, so far this should be enough for me so if you're gone a full round um, alternating front post and back post double crochets and you end up like me having uh, two back post double crochets next to each other that is totally fine, it doesn't break the deal or anything. Just dive in, not into the stitch, but kind of in between these two stitches and slip stitch like so. And this way these two are gonna transform into one. And if you need to uh, continue adding rounds, just chain three and you have already your uh, front post. So just go behind it and add another, this one, push it to the back and add another round. And this way it's going to be, at this time it's going to be easier because you have them already outlined. And once you get the full circle around you will have a front post and that's it. You will finish or you will stop right here which is a back post and um, everything is gonna look seamless and this was it for today's tutorial give it a thumbs up if you like it share it with others on your social media platforms subscribe to join the crocheting family uh, hit the notification bell so you get notified every time i post a new tutorial other than that you take care i will see you next sunday bye